and welcome to my little corner of the internet where I like to talk about some health shit and some witchy shit and lately some political shit. So I hope you guys are doing well. Still wearing your masks because we still need to do that. Um, still everybody that has it is not out of the woods yet. Thankfully, I haven't had it. But I, since I see so many doctors, each of them, especially new ones, do like the screening for it. It's like, do you have body aches? Do you have body pain? Are you tired, fatigued? Do you have like um, shortness of breath or anything like that? It's like, dude, if only you knew. That's what I live with on a daily basis. Yeah, it's fun. Add in a lot of bladder cramps lately. Mm-hmm. Um, this thing, I'm getting injections in my neck tomorrow that reminded me of the um the screening calls because i just got screened over the phone for my injections and it's like no 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 because i know that what from past experience when you answer yes i have that on a daily basis they don't really know what to do with that because it's like nobody experiences that on a daily basis really a lot of us in the chronic illness community do So, um, <clears throat> I'm filming this on, was it Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, um, and I watched the, uh, VP debate last night. <coughs> Excuse me. I set out to only watch like a few minutes of it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. But, uh, yeah. I ended up watching the whole damn thing. Okay. And, uh, I'm glad I did because I saw the plot. But, how many women, raise your hands, tell me down in the comments, have been treated like Pence, um, treated, uh, Harris last night? Yeah. How many of us have had our speaking time, have had other men like speak over us, uh, mansplain shit to us. When it's like, dude, this is, I, I know this, let me do it. Um, I was a mechanic for a bit of time in the military. And yeah, try being, <laughs> not only are females rare in the military, but being a mechanic, yeah, I was often the only girl wherever I went. So, kind of used to that to being treated like how she was treated and I admire her composure her tactfulness her preparedness and I was thinking how is the Trump campaign going to spin this oh we like people who speak from the cuff it's like yeah no it, it's good for a politician to be prepared she had her composure when she was being treated like she was last night um but it's just it, it's it's surreal that there are still undecided voters like seriously what the fuck you know um how how are there undecided voters um how can anybody have watched last night's debate and said that's my guy no you don't want mayonnaise boy mike that's no um, so, okay, let's get into, it's like four minutes in, <clears throat> let's get into today's divination. Um, on there, uh, my worry and anxiety is what I had in mind and I wrote down some of the specifics that I have worry and anxiety about. Um, namely like financial situation, so if you're watching it this far, if you're in the position there's a uh, Venmo link in my bio, um, link to this, so be very appreciative. Um, there's also my Amazon wish list. Uh, as a chronically ill person, I can't work. Um, I am a disabled veteran, so that's my only source of income. So 
trying new products, new devices because my body's falling apart it gets expensive after a while. And this is just going to progress throughout the rest of my life. So that's why I have financial on there. <clears throat> Worry and anxiety regarding having uh, my uh, VA caregiver stuff approved because I, I'm a mess. I, I need assistance. I need a caregiver. Uh, my partner says he's going to wrap me in bubble wrap because of it. Uh, it's just, um, yeah. And then worry and anxiety regarding the outcome of the election about what are Trump supporters going to do after either Trump dies from coronavirus or he's voted out, <clears throat> you know? His supporters aren't going to like slink back under their rocks. Unfortunately, we live, well, me and my partner and the dogs live in kind of like a pro-Trump area, which as somebody who grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area, rep in California, um, it's just, I'm very uncomfortable <laughs> to say the least. Um, I've lived in West Texas which was also very conservative. Um, and I am just ready to get back to my happy little, little liberal hole. You know, it's, I need, I need that. I, so if we can get my caregiver stuff approved, if I, cause next month I have my compensation and pension or basically my military disability review. Um, I have to go to Albuquerque for it. <clears throat> to um, do three of my updated uh, disabilities um, and a new one that was added. So if we can get all of that taken care of, I can get back. My partner can finally see the ocean. He's never seen the ocean. I grew up near or spent my life on the water more than half my life at least. And it's just... Yeah, that's also my worry and anxiety, you know? Um, my health, the health of the dogs, um, financial again. It's, so the one that I picked with all of the worry and anxieties in my mind was, I believe in myself and the power of my magic. So I'm taking that as we gotta believe in ourselves. You know, we're more powerful than we give ourselves credit for. Um, but believing in yourself doesn't take the place of doing actual action. So I'm gonna figure out what else I need to do to make my dreams come true and reduce my worry and anxieties. So with that, Daisy and I bid you adieu. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Remember, wear your mask, stay safe, treat each other nicely, kindly, and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Oh. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, and share this shit, okay? And Daisy will send you a kiss.